You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Let's talk to Corey. Yeah, we haven't heard from Corey at all. Take a break. I know. Where's Corey been? We're out here at Seton Catholic and their brand new beautiful fine arts building. We're looking at the girls and boys from Seats and Dance. Thanks for getting up early, you guys. More coming your way from Chandler in a minute. We'll see you then. You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning. Corey's checking out the fine arts program at Seton High School. Hi, Corey. About you, time you made hey. it over there. Now, Rick, you remember when you were in uh, your dance class yes. back at Wycliffe. Yes. Tyson uh, Hall. Sure, it's probably a lot of jitterbugging. Maybe, maybe the the monkey or the sug or something like that. Yeah, well, it's all changed now. And look at the building that we're in. This is the brand new fine arts building here. The gang from Seton Dance, you know, they're up early and uh, they're always out uh, rehearsing before everyone else gets going during the day. But. They're so proud of this building, and they should be. It's really a terrific facility. The uh, assistant principal, David Sorkin, is with us. David, uh, you guys must really be uh, busting some buttons about this place. Oh, we are. We're so excited. It's a great opportunity for our students, for our families. Uh, the students are loving it. They're very happy with it. And uh, we couldn't be happier to start this year with this new new building. Well, congratulations. And just for, for folks who don't know, how many years for Seton as an institution? Well, Seton's been around for 57 years now. Uh, we were founded in 1954. We had the uh, the Great Fire of 1980, and uh, this campus that we're on right now was built then, and this is the next part of our Building for Excellence Capital campaign. So this is really Seton 2.5 as we get ready to keep expanding and growing and serving the East Valley. Well, I'm sure that your alumni must be really thrilled when they come back and see uh, all the progress. Oh, they are. Needless to say, they're pretty jealous. Uh, <laughs> sure they are. That, that's the problem. They all say, why couldn't I have this when I was here? Yeah, so. I think we all say that, don't we? Well, well, congratulations again. Next time we get together, we're going to be um, upstairs in their brand new theater. Wait till you see this joint. I mean, it's, uh, it's as beautiful as any brand new theater anywhere in the valley. More coming your way in a minute. Good moves, buddy. Way to go, oh, Corey. He always brings out that one. Yeah. This, yeah, that's what is classic. Guys, we're at Seton Catholic. We're to know who we're featuring next. Jeremy Smith and the Cord Cats. One, two, one, two, three, and. Arizona Morning is back. Kari is uh, checking out the fine arts program at uh, Seton High. Yes, he is. Yes. Talented kids Talented out there. Talented kids. Well, look at where we are. This is one of the most, well, it's probably the newest theater in the whole valley, and it is beautiful. I mean, to see a play from this vantage point when you're really, you've got kind of a really highly raked uh, uh, seating arrangement here, you're, you're, you're looking right down on it, so it looks uh, terrific, and uh, right now we're watching a little bit of the uh, Seton Drama Club. <laughs> this is a scene from Hercules. I have a feeling there could, oh gosh. This looks like trouble, for sure. But David Sorkin's with us again. And slide over a seat there. I'm going to sit next to you. We'll watch. Uh, we'll watch together. So, have you? Uh, have your kids been able to perform, uh, play yet in the uh, in the uh, building? Not yet. This is going to be our inaugural performance. The last two weekends in October. We're really excited about that. How fun! Well, as a as a former high school uh, theater guy myself, I can tell you, this is really one of the finest theaters I've ever been to. Your sound system is awesome, and that's the kind of key these days for a for a good theater didn't used to be but now a sound is a, lot, a big part of it absolutely and for us you know coming from the cafeteria which is where they used to be performed yeah. this is uh, this is pretty 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 amazing for our kids and a great opportunity yeah. for and them. you know when uh, Hercules opens again yes it's the last two weekends in October uh, Friday October 23rd I believe is the date all right very good well thanks again for uh, letting us uh, horn in all your fun again uh, we're here at Seton Catholic oh this looks bad this is not going well for Hercules. He seems very powerful, but once you get a girl involved, woo, you know how it goes. Everything falls apart up here. You know what I'm saying, Rick? Absolutely. They ruin your life, boy. I don't know if this is a tragedy or a comedy. Now, I wouldn't go that far as them ruining your life, Rick. Oh, is that what Rick said? He no, did. I'm not you on board agreed. with that. Did I know. I? 
Did I say that? Yes, I couldn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> I didn't think Corey was on board with All that. All right, Corey. <laughs>